Hey y'all, Fox Cooper, livingcooper.com. Hello, what Fox got? Welcome back to the Vespa series, Vespa Rebuild series. This is episode six. And if you haven't seen any of the previous episodes, I got a 1980 Vespa P200E that we're putting back together. Had it for a long time, but we're finally getting it put back together. You have to check out those other episodes. On this episode, we're gonna put on the old tail light. This is the American style tail light. We're gonna put that tail light on. So keep watching. And let's put that tail light on. All right, now here we go with the tail light. Tail light goes here. Here's the tail light. This is, I guess, the American style tail light, not the European style tail light. And there used to be a gasket that was right here, a uh, rubber gasket. Couldn't find one, so I got some silicone rubber off of Amazon, and I'm gonna make my own. So that will be the first thing we do is make this gasket and cut the holes in it, and then we'll be able to mount it right there. So let's do it. All right, so to make this gasket, I got me some rubber. And I took the light fixture off of the frame and we're just going to set it down on here and I'm going to try to kind of line it up right where that bend starts right there and then we'll set this down okay essentially right there I got a silver sharpie and we'll mark this around mark our holes that should be about there okay and I'm just going to draw this line straight up from there. All right, I got me a little square that I'm going to mark that with. And just like that. I'll make sure it's all square. Now we'll take our razor blade and I'm going to cut just on the inside of this line. All right, one more time through. Let's line this up, see how it looks on the back side. Got our holes lined up there. It's okay, not perfect. This side over here, just a smidge. See if I can kind of even these sides up. Well, I don't think it looks pretty good. I think I'll dog these ears right here. Just a little bit. Clean this up. Check it one more time. I think our gasket looks pretty good right there, what do you think? Just like that, we're lined up on the inside. Now we need to cut these holes out. Now with the holes, I'm actually gonna cut on the outside of the line since it was on the inside of the holes. Now if you got an X-Acto knife, it might be better for this because it would be more X-Acto, you know what I'm saying? Okay, there's the middle. Now let's get these ends. All right, here we go, there's our gasket. And it goes on just like this. And we'll put our bolts through there. And our wiring comes through here. So let's put it on. All right, we're gonna put this together. We're gonna use our gasket we made, put it on here like so, run our wires through. And that gasket material is like a eighth inch silicone rubber or something like that. I'll put a link in the description below for you guys. And then we're gonna use these, this is like a inch and a quarter. It's actually probably a metric number, I don't know. It's like an inch and a quarter, like quarter 20 with some nylocks, nuts. What it looks like, I, I don't know what the metric equivalent is to that, but you probably looked that up in a parts manual. And I'm going to put a flat washer on it, and that'll go right through these holes here. Now, I guess, I don't know if somebody modified this at one time or what, but, you know, these have nylocks nuts on them. When you got nylocks nuts, you really don't need a lock washer on these, but somebody put lock washers on these things somewhere along the way at one time or another. Okay. My guess is this is probably like a 10 millimeter. I'll get the socket set out here in a second and we'll put it on and see what we get. All right, so I'm using a number 12 socket and a crescent wrench. Okay, right, there's the frame, it's on. Now, these, these bolts, they seem kind of long to me. I don't know if that's what was on here. I don't know if they're too long. I'll find out, I guess, when I get ready to put the tire in. And I don't know, I didn't look in the parts manual to see if the parts manual uh, gave a length on what length those bolts are supposed to be. Let me give you a look inside here. So there they are on the inside. And I mean, they, they, I don't know why they would want them to stick out that far, but like I said, those are the ones that were on there. So that's what I put back on there. If those bolts are too long, then I'll let you guys know when I put the tower on. All right, y'all, I finished putting this tail light on. I got a couple of, I guess, mods I need to do. I had to get some female slide connectors the speed terminals go in. I'll bring you guys in closer in a minute to show you, but they've got to be modified because they're a little bit too long. Really, you need the kind that, that kind of come out the side, but I didn't see any of those in my little town, and I'm not going to order any. Or I can make these work just by simply shorting the, 
these later on, I'll show you. And then also, there is a gasket that goes inside. I don't know if you guys can see that, like I said, I'll bring it in here in a minute, and we'll look at it. And this is a lens gasket that goes around the brake light lens like this, where it fits into the, the fixture itself in here. Well, this one has, over time, is shrunk. It's like a, kind of like a rubbery plastic. And so I'm going to make my own, because I looked at like four different scooter sites and nobody had this, and I'm not going to buy an entire new tail light assembly just for this little gasket. So I got some some craft foam from Walmart. This is a little sheet of craft foam, and it's uh, basically it's the same thickness. It's about a sixteenth of an inch or so. And so I'm going to make my own gasket out of this. The gaskets that I bought for the turn signals, uh, if you saw that, those were, it's basically just craft foam, it's the same stuff. But we're going to make our own, so you guys come on over here and let's make the gasket and let's modify these terminal connectors. Alright y'all, first thing we're going to do is the easy part, which is modify these little connectors right here. And we're just going to cut this insulator off there because you don't really need it. And it will be, you know, it'll give me about another eighth inch or so. So that'll be plenty short enough to fit inside the little frame holder that goes up against here. All right, so let's do that. All right, just like that. Now it looks like that. So we're going to do the other two. And I'll be ready to crimp those, crimp those onto the wire. I really didn't need the knife like I used on the first and second one. I was just able to use the needle nose, pretty much just pull the insulation off there, no problem. And if we need to insulate those after we get the wires crimped on them, we can always use a little bit of heat shrink that I got. And on the turn signal back plate, I guess you will call it, there's really no insulation anyways. Just the, the spade terminals there to plug into. And it's also inside kind of a little cover where it's protected from getting wet or anything. And, and that whatever amount of moisture you're gonna get up in there is really not gonna affect too much anyways. All right, so we will put those on here shortly. Now that we got those slide terminals modified, we will see about making our little gasket. All right, I'm gonna start this out by taking my lens and we're gonna put the lens on here and then we're gonna cut around this lens, so. All right, that was the easy part. Now the hard part is gonna be cutting out the middle. All right, so I got a ruler, so this little gap right here is about an eighth inch. So I need to cut around this an eighth inch. So let me get a pen. I'm gonna set my little depth here at about an eighth inch. Okay. Got my handy dandy Fisher Space Pen 375 caliber, but it's a pen. Pretty awesome. Best pens out there, Fisher Space Pens. I'll put a link in the description for that. You don't have to get the one that looks like a bullet. They have others. I just thought that one was cool and it fits in my pocket well, so I can carry it every day. All right, so let's mark this out. Okay. Now the hard part to mark out. So I got an idea. I got another board so I can kind of sandwich the square in here like so. And then we'll set this on top of here and then we'll mark it. Just a little bit at a time. Then we'll come back and play connect the dots. There might be easier ways of doing this, I'm sure, but that's the way I'm doing it. Okay. Come back here and play connect the dots. There's one side down. Now we'll do the other side. Okay, I got my line marked. I don't know how well you guys can see that. There it is. Okay, there's my line. I just gotta cut that out. Take my little knife and cut it out. Well, there we go. It ain't perfect, but let's see if it fits. That's the important thing is that it fits in our, our little groove here. All right, there you go. One craft foam gasket for my lens. Like that, I'll go in. Now let's go put it on the bike, finish up this tail light. All right, here we are back in the bike, y'all. These are our three terminals. So we need to put our, our slide connectors, as they're called them on the package, on. So we'll take them off here. Okay, and then we'll crimp these. So if you got some crimpers, this isn't the best set of crimpers in the world, but like this, you can pair of crimpers like this. I don't know how well you can see, there's a yellow, a blue, and there's supposed to be a red, but this is a blue connector. So I want to use this portion of the crimper right there. And actually, I, I take that back. These are blue, but because we took the insulation off, we're going to use the very tip of the crimper. Okay, there's one. There's two. And there's three. Now we're going to take our service station amendment. It's got a wiring diagram in it, so we can make sure we get the right connections. And this is a BSX. Make sure I got the right one here. 
All right, so you wanna make sure you get the right the right diagram. This is a, uh, mine's a DSX 1T, and it is after 34627 serial number. And so this is the diagram that I'm gonna use. So on the tail light, it's got an SGT. And if you look right in here on the tail light, you'll see that there is uh, an S, a G, and a T. So S, G, T. Now looking at the color code on our, on our diagram as well, I'm gonna see that the gray wire goes to the T terminal, the black wire goes to the G terminal, and the S wire, it says light blue, but in my case, it's, it's actually just a blue. So, so gray to T, black to G, which is basically your ground return. So we'll put our black on there, and then our gray to T, and our blue to S, just like that. And then I don't have this screwed on yet, but it's gonna go like that. Oh, I messed up, already messed up, y'all. Before I can put those on the terminals, I gotta put the gasket. This gasket goes on here. This gasket that goes between the tail light and this frame here. All right, so let's do it again. Gray to T, black to G, blue or light blue, whatever you have, goes to S. And then we'll take our bolts. This is like a quarter 20 by maybe an inch, inch and a quarter. We'll go in here. So there's one for each side. All right, so that's on. And uh, let me get the bulb that goes in here. So the bulb that goes in here is a, called an 1157 two filament bulb, but I got an LED replacement bulb for this. And I'll put a link in the description. I got this from Amazon, as usual. Pretty much everything comes from Amazon. 1157, it's got offset little tabs or ears, nubs, nipples, whatever you want to call them on the sides. So you gotta make sure you kind of get them right there. So we'll put that in. It snaps right in one way. It only goes one way, just like that. And then we'll put our lens cover on. And my lens cover is kind of a two-piece cover. It's got a clear section that goes underneath. And that way it shines light down on the license plate whenever you have a license plate on here. So that'll go underneath. So it'll go on just like this. It's got two Phillips head screws that go in here. Well, they needed to make them five miles on. I don't know what they did. All right, let's go ahead and see if we can tighten up the rest of the fixture. So number 10, so I'm using a quarter inch drive number 10 on this. And they got spider washers on them. And they don't have to be super tight. Just tight enough to just snug them up so that the spider washers get a little bite in there. There you go, y'all. There's the tail light. One step closer. All right, y'all, like I said, I wasn't sure if these bolts go down here. And now I'm really not sure because in the, in the spare parts manual, this bolt and this bolt that holds this fixture on are supposed to be the same bolts. But that's not what they had in here. These are a number 12. So I use a number 12 socket on that, but on these that actually hold the fixture on to this frame, it was a number 10. So I may be replacing these, don't know yet. We'll see. But there it is, that's a tail light. And I think that'll do it for this episode. We're gonna wrap it up. All right, y'all, there you go. That's how you install the American style tail light on this Vespa P200D. I appreciate you guys stopping by, checking out the video. Hopefully it helps you out. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed the video, leave us a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy it, why don't you leave us a thumbs down either way. But hey, leave us a comment. Some constructive criticisms, tips, tricks, ideas, experiences that you've had that might help somebody else that's kind of doing the same thing here. Maybe you saw something I did wrong, or they can be done better. Share that kind of information with our community and make it a lot better. And it might help out somebody that's trying to do the same thing. Also, check out the other Vespa videos I got. Maybe those could help you out. If you know somebody that could uh, use this kind of information, please share our videos with them as well. We would appreciate that. Check us out on our social media, Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter at Living Cooper, and our blog over livingcooper.com. Check that out as well. And if you don't mind, please subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're notified next time we upload a video. Might not be a Vespa video, it could be something else. We have all kinds of videos, so check out our other videos. Keep watching, we'll see you guys on the next one.